What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Artasia, aka Black Magic, aka this is your motherfucking mama favorite channel on YouTube. <laughs> no, I'm playing, but look, uh, today I'm here today. Today is a different little vibe. Um, usually I'm way more up and high and energetic for my videos. I'm getting um, deep with y'all today. Um, most people that really know me, obviously my family and everybody, y'all know this. Um, but some people that don't know me, maybe you, y'all about to get some uh, like deeper into my life today, should I say. Um, as you guys know, the police killings of black people are at an all-time high. There are people across the world protesting against racism, against police brutality, against the system itself. It's just fucked up. Like, let's be real. Like, let's be honest. It ain't for us. As, as black people, as a black woman, I sit here and I tell you that the system is not for us. The color of our skin somehow becomes um, a weapon. The color of our skin becomes a weapon. And that we were born this way. I, I take pride in being black. Being black is a privilege, okay? Um, I'm not even going to get too deep. I'm not trying to, you know... I am going to get deep. In this video, honestly, I'm not going to front. Y'all, it's hard to do. Um, seeing the things that are going on right now and knowing that these are the things that have been going on for centuries. Black people, we have never been free. Never. And when we were declared as, or as America declared, our independence on 4th of July, we didn't, as black people, become free of slavery for 80 plus years later. 80 plus years, and that is what Juneteenth celebrates, is black people becoming free of slavery. And even then, it, it, it took years for them to actually tell us that we were free of slavery. There were still slaves. Years after we became free of slavery. But that's what Juneteenth was. Yesterday was Juneteenth. Um, I'm a little day behind, but that's what the celebration of Juneteenth was, if you ain't know. Uh, but today I'm talking about what's going on now and what's going on today and what happened to me. God, I'm not in the right. I'm not. If you know me, then you know that 22 years ago, I lost my dad. My dad was killed by the hands of a racist cop. My dad's name is Donald Eugene Williams Jr. He was killed by the police. I was three years old when my father was taken from me. Just three years old. I've grown up my entire life without a father, without a father figure, because my father was taken from me and my family by the hands of a racist police officer, a white, racist police officer my dad was leaving his mother's house he walked outside the police confronted him they thought he was somebody else they shot him seven times in the back their story was he had a gun he had a weapon. They were afraid for their lives because he was black. They were afraid of their lives because of the color 
of his skin. He had no weapon. No weapon was ever found. The police officers, there was two of them, were continue working as if that did never happen. No leave, no justice, no peace. I'm upset. I'm hurt. And to see the shit happening still today, it hurts. I've had to grow up without my father because a racist police officer Even though I only knew my dad for three years, I know that he loved me with his whole heart. He would give his life any day for me. I was his world. And they took him from me. No justice, and I don't have no peace. I am 24 years old. <sighs> 24. I've had to live my life without him. For 24 years. For the rest of my life. I will never have my dad. I never had him to walk me down to go take me to the daddy daughter dance. He won't be there to walk me down the aisle when I get married. He didn't see. I guess to, he, he saw me grow up. He did. But it's not the same. I will forever have a guardian angel. I feel his presence. And he told me that he's proud of me. <laughs> He told me that I am the star and I'm going to change people's lives. He told me that he will always love me. That I will always love me. He can never be replaced. <sighs> Ever. <sighs> there is 
is so much more that I would like to share with you guys. Um, I would like for you guys to get and have a deeper connection with me and knowing me, who I am, and what I've gone through, what I've been through, and where I'm going. I know without a doubt in my mind that he is in heaven and he's watching over me. He's my guardian angel. And he's telling me, speak, speak up. Every creator, every artist, every influencer needs to speak. We need change. Break the chain. We do not have to be afraid to be black. We don't have to be afraid to be black. They are afraid of us because they see our power. They see what we made of and they want. They want what we made of. They want our power. They can't take it though. It's not for them to have. So we speak up. We make our voices heard. And we get justice. And we put an end to this racist bullshit. <sighs> Say their names. Let their names be known. I have a list. And there's so many more than this. Donald Eugene Williams Jr. Rest in peace, Dad. George Floyd. Breonna Taylor. Sandra Bland. Oscar Grant. Trayvon Martin. Books, Ahmad Arbery, Michael Brown, Freddie Gray, Terrence Crutcher, and Jordan Davis. Rest in peace. They killing us cause we black Where the fuck the justice at? Don't tell me you ain't see that Cause if you do, sh You the problem too Tell me what to do To get my message through Damn, I been going through Lately times two See, I was only three When they took you from me, damn